After the release of Android Nougat 7.0, which is the latest iteration of Android, every Android user is quite excited to try that out. And in this video, I'm going to show you the most stable custom ROM for your Redmi 2 or Redmi 2 Prime, which is based on Android Nougat 7.0. I'm testing this ROM since 4 days and I'm really happy with the stability and performance of this ROM. Almost everything is working except Volti E. So let's see how the ROM is performing and in this video I will also show you how to install this ROM. So hey guys this is Samir from Extreme Droid and without any further ado let's get started. This ROM is based on unofficial CM14 and it is running on Android 7.0. If we talk about the performance, then I must say, being an unofficial build, it's quite stable for daily use. All the features of Android Nougat, like multi-window, improved OS mode, new notification panel, are working fine. The other thing which is introduced in Android Nougat is the Vulkan support for gaming and I'm not sure it is working or not. But the overall experience of this ROM is really good and the best thing which I like about this ROM is that the multi-window is working very smoothly and it can be really useful sometimes. You will also get the newly designed setting menu in which you will get a quick overview of every option without even clicking on that and by swiping right you can swap between different options. The battery performance is also good which is the major concern of every user. I am getting about 4 hours of screen on time with normal usage which will last a full day with a single charge. So now let me show you how to install this ROM. The prerequisites are First, you should have TWRP recovery pre-installed. Second, your battery should be minimum 60% charged. Now first you have to download the ROM zip file and the gapps package and put it in the internal memory of your device. I will leave the download links in the description box, so do check out. Now switch off your device and boot it into TWRP recovery mode. To boot into TWRP, press volume up plus volume down and hold the power button for few seconds until you see the Mi logo. So now you have successfully booted into TWRP recovery. The first thing which I always do is to make a backup of my current ROM. In case anything went wrong or I didn't like the ROM which I am installing right now, then I can easily restore the backup of my previous ROM without losing any data. So backup is highly recommended. After backup is done, go back and select wipe to wipe the system partitions. Now again go back and click on install and navigate the ROM zip file and gapps package. First select the ROM zip file and click on add more zips and select gapps package. That's it. Now just swipe this blue button to right to flash both the zips. The installation will hardly take 5 minutes. Once it is done, reboot your device. Now the first boot may take up to 10 minutes. So just relax and wait until the boot gets finished. Once the boot is finished, set up your device and yes, you just installed Android Nougat in your Redmi 2 or Redmi 2 Prime. So guys, now you have the latest version of Android on your Redmi devices. Just enjoy the new flavor of Android and let me know your experience with this ROM in the comment section. And if you like this video, then don't forget to click the subscribe button for more future updates. See you guys in my next video.